Brad Cox here with Cox Homestead. I just got done finished building this frame as I spin around here for our rabbit tractor. And it is the, uh, the Polyface Designs rabbit tractor. It's the second one I've built. Uh, you can see the first one there. We've probably had it for at least six months and uh, it's held up wonderfully. I wanna just go over a few uh, things that I've learned uh, after having built a second one, maybe some tips and uh, some changes that we're gonna make. The first thing is, is that this design calls for uh, nominal lumber. So uh, I went to a sawmill and got poplar. And when you get lumber from a sawmill, it doesn't always come in exact sizes. So a two by six might be a one and seven eighths by, you know, five and three quarter, or, or maybe even it's a little bigger. Um, so what is awesome about this design is that the only pieces that really matter what the length is that have to be adjusted if your pieces aren't exactly the right size are these top four pieces. So this one running across the end here, your two center pieces, and obviously that end piece on the other side there. Uh, those pieces will have to be adjusted um, if your lumber is not exactly the size that it calls for, but otherwise you can cut your lumber to the size that it says in the um, in the polyface designs book and uh, it just it, it'll come out right it doesn't matter and you can see on some of my uprights here so this one's mostly mostly square um, this one's pretty square I can't even tell you what size they are exactly but you can see these on this side a little more rectangle but as long as your outside edges down here meet up then it really doesn't matter because that's going to sit on the inside there and then this sits on the outside of that so uh, it really is a genius design as far as not having to really think through a lot of things if things aren't perfect in sizing when you're building it you can take imperfect cuts of a lumber and really come up with something that's going to be awesome we've been super happy i built a rabbit tractor uh, just on my own design, too heavy, too cumbersome, didn't work out. We tried this and it was awesome. Uh, the one thing that we were going to change with our new one, those slats that are in the bottom, um, they are spaced on a two inch spacing. And we have had several rabbits dig out over time. I was trying to see, uh, you can see there's some digging right there. It's not too bad but um especially the the ones that we have in here right now and we've had several get out multiple times and uh and then previous ones as well so when i put my oak slats on the bottom of this one i'm going to go down to a one and three quarter inch spacing on the first tractor that i built i used a one and a half inch spacing and we didn't have any get out of that so i'm going to hit in the middle with this one try and give them as much grass as possible but also try and keep them from digging out because it's not fun chasing rabbits for 30 minutes adding 30 minutes of chores onto the day um if you're thinking at all about raising raising rabbits on pasture uh this design is uh, it's awesome. I recommend getting the book and uh, building it. The one other thing that is a little bit different from the book is these two supports right here uh, for the roof. Uh, I have just put these in here uh, just temporary for the time. Those will get adjusted because I want my roof so I have two pieces of metal on the ends and this piece here in the center will lift out and I want that to overlap and sit down uh, nice and snug together. So I will adjust uh, these pieces once I lay everything out. Uh, those those will, will probably get moved a little bit wider. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much just straight up out of the out of the Polyface Designs book, and we love it. Uh, and so I hope this was helpful if you're looking at building one of these, maybe some things to think through. And also, you may not have to think as hard. Just dive into it and build it. I uh, hope this is helpful, and have a good day. Look how happy they are on that box. <laughs> 
happy bunnies. Hop, happy bunnies. One cleaning its ears. Isn't that cute? Cute little bunnies. This one over here watching out. <laughs>